What is up guys, welcome back to the channel. It has been a minute since I've been on here. Quick side note, I went home. Uh, I wanted to be with family during all this craziness, so I was MIA for about three weeks. But during those three weeks, something really cool happened, which wouldn't have been possible without the awesome feedback from a bunch of my other videos, which got more popular than I thought they would. One of them, y'all really, really hated. Thank you for the feedback. Uh, I'm gonna try to learn how to uh, more appropriately critique things so they don't uh, piss off everybody. Anyways, the cool thing that happened is Banggood actually reached out, which is kind of funny because a lot of y'all always recommend in my comments, you're like, why do you buy from Amazon? Buy from Banggood. I just never have. And they actually reached out, which was super cool, and asked if they could send me one of their keyboards to review. And I was like, yeah, I mean, that, that sounds cool. Like, I'm not gonna say no to a free keyboard. Like, why would I do that? And I was like, but if you're gonna do that, like, I want it to be a little bit different because I'm sure they're sending out these keyboards to a lot of people. And I was like, well, let me, you know, give me something else, make it more interesting. So I was able to convince them to also give me a keycap set uh, to go with the keyboard. So it's a 61% keycap set, so just enough for this specific keyboard. Today we're gonna be talking about the GK61, which is a Gateron Switch keyboard um, in one of its configurations. It's mostly a Gateron Switch board though, I'll talk about that later. But it's a 60% keyboard, uh, it does include Bluetooth, but it's obviously wired as well. So I've been using this board for about a week now, um, ever since I got home, and I wanted to wait to make a video on it to make sure I fully understood everything about it, how it worked. And now that it's been long enough, here we are. So I am somebody, like I always say, who hates waiting till the end of a video to hear feedback overall on a specific thing. My overall feedback on this board is for $55 or even cheaper sometimes. This board is amazing. If you're looking for a 60% keyboard, this is gonna do everything you want it to do and potentially more. It feels good, it feels sturdy, and I would 100% recommend it, uh, which is weird because normally these keyboards have some sort of weird pinging issue or their, their keys are loose or something, but overall this keyboard is really good. I'll talk about the things that weren't as good later in the video. And because I know everybody doesn't like to sit through and wait, here's the timestamp for the sound test. I have Gatoron red switches in this board. Let's just go do that first. So jumping right into the actual composition of the board, it is a plastic board. Uh, the entire casing is plastic. And there is weirdly no height adjustment on this board, which isn't a big deal breaker for me. If I line it up next to my HyperX Origins keyboard, the height difference isn't really that crazy, uh, but just know there is no way to adjust the height. The connector actually is on the left side of the board. Most of mine have been on the right, but again, it's a USB-C to a USB-A cable. So kind of what you'd expect in a board these days. And the keycaps that come with the board are ABS double shots. So you're not gonna have to worry about the uh, letters fading off after a while. And they also really allow that RGB to come through really, really beautifully. The RGB on this board is surprisingly bright and very vibrant. It was really good actually for what I was expecting out of a $50 keyboard. The fonts on the keycaps might not be for everybody. It might be a little bit thick and gamer-y, but I really didn't mind it too much, especially with how much RGB light it was letting through. It made the board look really good, so I didn't really mind it too much. And although I didn't mind it too much, like I said, Banggood sent me some free keycaps, so I definitely wanted to try those out. So I threw those on and switched it over to the Fecker keycaps. I think that's how you pronounce it. It's F-E-K-E-R, Fecker, I think. So these things are beautiful. Like when I say beautiful, like I want, like after I'm done reviewing this board, I just want to like mount it somewhere and just like look at it. Cause it's just, it's a, it's almost like an art piece. It's really weird. Cause these keycaps are only $18, but they just make this board look so nice. Now, something that's interesting about this keyboard is it's not a normal 60% keyboard in the sense that it's just that. This keyboard actually has hot swappable switches, which is not something you normally see on a lower end keyboard, especially at $50. But basically what it means is you can, so I got red switches. Um, so basically what it means is I have red Gateron switches in here. With this specific configuration, I can take any other Gateron optical switches and replace the ones I have now with those ones. They do have a version of the board that comes uh, not built. So it's like a kit basically where you can buy the PCB and the switches and all that kind of stuff where it does use non-optical switches and you have more options. So you don't have to be stuck with Gatorons. You could use any other Cherry MX, any of that kind of stuff uh, switch. But the pre-made one that you buy on Banggood is gonna be an optical Gateron switch keyboard. But it's kind of cool for a $50 price point, being able to have hot swappable switches is something I was not expecting. 
And then last but not least, the board does come in a black and a white configuration, whatever fits you. I've kind of realized that black I like better. The white always kind of feels like cheaper to me, no matter what brand I buy. The Anna Pro 2 I got in white. I didn't like it as much as I liked the other black versions of boards I've gotten, but it does come in both if you want to kind of have your choice there. Now looking at the actual uh, keycaps, these Fecker keycaps, it sounds weird saying that name, but it's, that's what it's called. They are PBT sublimation keycaps, so theoretically if you use them enough, they, the uh, letters might fade. Um, there's no listing here about how many like key strokes they're good for or anything like that, but I honestly don't use a keyboard long enough or mash on the keys hard enough to worry about it, and especially at an $18 price point. Like if I want to replace them down the road, it's not like I bought a $150 keycap set. It was $18, so I just get a new one or maybe even use it as an opportunity to switch it out to a different one. So for me, the sublimation isn't really a big deal breaker. This is the 61 keycap configuration. It does come in 104 as well. So if you want to get the full number pad, arrow keys, all that kind of stuff in there as well, you can definitely do that. Overall, like I said, like this, this keycap set just leveled up this keyboard so much and I it might do it for others as well, but just like seeing how beautiful this thing looks. Like it's just, it's an art piece and I want to like mount it or use a stand or something and start having like a keyboard display maybe behind me or something. This is definitely going to be in there just because it looks so good. Like I just, I just want to use it sometimes just because it looks so good. As dumb as that sounds. Now taking a little bit of a turn here, I'm going to talk about the RGB of this board. You can use the function and the P key and the function and the left bracket key to cycle between the pre-made modes of the RGB. And you get, you know, solid colors, reactive modes. Like if I push on a key, it'll light it or light the whole row, explosions, that kind of stuff. All the generic stuff you'd, you'd expect out of an RGB board, which is again, crazy at a $50 price point, you get all these options, but they also have a sound reactive option, which is kind of interesting. There's a little microphone in the bottom of the space bar compartment. And apparently this uses the sound reactive mode. I haven't tried it yet. I haven't really had a, a reason to, I'm not a, I'm not a big like sound reactive kind of person, but it's there if you want to, I guess. So like maybe you're having a party and you want your office to be lighting up in those colors. You can do that. So that's kind of a cool little feature that you don't really see anywhere else. Now, again, my keycaps are sublimation keycaps, so you're not going to get that RGB shining through. So the RGB is a little bit more dim on the configuration I have, but with the default keycaps that come with the board, you're going to have no problem having that RGB shine through bright and very vibrant. There is a software that is offered to customize the lights on this board. So you can do things like set up the static light to be different or all that kind of stuff, which is again, cool for a $50 price point board, having software to do that. I personally didn't download it. It was kind of weird. It was actually a link on the Banggood page to a Google Drive download to download it. There's also a website you can go to, but it's all in Chinese, so I didn't really know how to get around uh, the website to download something. So if you're gonna do that, just be aware that it's kind of a little bit more difficult to get into the software or to actually get the software on your computer. But you know, I've seen videos of it. It seems like it works for what it needs to do. So if you want it, so if you're interested in using the software, it's out there. You just got to work a little bit harder to find it. Now, this is the part of the video where I talk about my overall experiences and what I think. And I already said in the beginning of this video, but this board for the price point for $55, if you're looking for a 60% keyboard, I don't see why you'd go with anything else. At least nothing that I've tried so far. All the 60% boards I've tried so far have not impressed me because they've been more expensive. They've been around a hundred dollar price point. So the $55 point here is just like insane. You have fully integrated RGB. You have different settings, different modes, different brightnesses. You have sound reactive. You have a software that goes with it. You have optical switches that can be hot swapped with other gator on hop up with other gator on optical switches. Like the options that they provide you on this board are just absolutely insane. And the overall feel of the board actually feels very sturdy as well. So when I'm typing, like it, I get, so like I kind of describe my experience with board in two ways It's like, I'm happy when I type on it and I'm not happy when I type on it. I'm happy when I type on this board. I feel good. I feel like comfortable. I feel it's fun. It's fun for me to type on this board. Whereas other boards like the Keycon K2 were not fun for me to type on. I hated it immediately. This is a kind of board where I just want to type on it. If that makes sense. Like the switches feel great. The keys feel great. Everything feels sturdy about it, which again, I'm bringing back up that price point. I was surprised about for $55. I will say, I do think that the keycaps that I got bring out like a huge difference in the board. Like they make it look very custom and very modern and fresh. And I like that. It's not just black. It's not a certain color, but it's very art. Like it, it's an art piece almost. So I think that brings up the value of the board for me a lot as well. And they were only $18, which is again, pretty crazy. 
I'm gonna put uh, links in the description for, to buy these off Banggood. They're gonna default to using my affiliate link thing. Uh, I actually don't know currently if you get a discount for that. I don't think so. I think it just kind of tells them who, how many people bought it from me, um, but I'm not getting paid for this review. Uh, just to clarify, I have not been paid for any reviews ever. Somebody in my last video actually commented that I got paid to review the board negatively, which I don't know how that would work. Like maybe a competing brand would pay me to say, but like you don't really have like direct competing brands. So you don't really have like an Apple and an Android of keyboards. So I don't, I, I just don't get paid. That's the thing. I don't get paid to make these reviews. Um, they were nice enough to send them over to me. So, but just know if I do get sent things to review, like I'm going to be completely honest with you. If there are major flaws, if there are things I don't like, I'm going to tell you about them. Honestly, in this board, it was just a good board overall. I've been using it for a week now and I'm very happy with how it turned out. So if you are looking for a 60% keyboard, check this one out. Uh, like I said, it does offer a Bluetooth wireless, but if I'm gonna be honest, I've been staying away from the wireless options on boards. And that is gonna be my review of the GK61. Thank you guys so much. If you have any questions about the board, any questions about anything about it, or I guess anything else I've talked about on this channel before, let me know in the comments down below. I try to be pretty active down there. So, so yeah, if you wanna leave me a comment, I will definitely see it um, and, and try to respond to you. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Peace, guys.